Shalom, shalom. All right, uh, so you know, I've been keeping my ear to the street, I've been looking at the crime wave and all these things that's going on down in these major cities. Uh, smash and grab robberies, people getting robbed at uh, their ATMs, uh, people getting their groceries stolen right when you come out the grocery store. People getting shot and killed, dead, everywhere you turn on IG Live. It's amazing. Homosexuality is running rampant. There's homosexual uh, promotion everywhere. You got men, especially mainly black men, in skirts and dresses and makeup. It's just... If any of you have a spiritual eye to see, you know this can't go for too much longer. You know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. As soon as everybody starts turning, turning homosexual, as soon as the homosexual stuff is, is, is no longer hidden, that's when destruction is going to happen. If you look at every ancient empire, the Roman Empire, Greeks, what happened to all of them? They all turned homosexual at the end. They went from, from murderers and killers and, 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 and conquerors to homosexuals in bathhouses and skirts that's the sign of the fall of an empire is when everyone's homosexual is when you start taking away man the real man and you call him a, 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 a toxic masculinity the real man the real man the protectors those men become bad and the the homosexual man are the prize we know that's not true like, we know that's not true that's backwards but it's happening so what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah homosexuality came in right and the both sides destroyed the place well that's what's about to happen here uh, years ago back when I was living in San Diego uh, I was living downtown downtown San Diego this is like 20 years ago and uh, I was uh, I was working at FedEx and uh, uh, I had a, I had a good job I was I was living downtown I didn't even need a car because I, I, I had a little apartment downtown and uh, it was beautiful because I partied uh, but I was wicked I'm, I'm just gonna say it, I was wicked as hell I was wicked. I was too busy trying to, to, to live the fast life and go to clubs and meet celebrities and stuff like that. Well, one day, uh, I, uh, I start having a nightmare, and uh, the nightmare was I was walking downtown, uh, walking around, and everybody was walking downtown, especially like on Friday nights or Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. Everybody's walking downtown, looking and with their phones out taking pictures having a blast drinking and uh, I was walking downtown and all of a sudden I seen everybody looking up in the sky and everybody's looking up in the sky and I'm like what what's everybody looking at and then uh I seen a big light coming it was a big light and everybody was was getting video of it and then I didn't get any video of it but I was just like what the hell is that so as it started getting closer I realized it was a nuclear bomb and then uh, now you can't run. So it came and it blew up, boom! And I woke up every single time screaming. Now I was like uh, 25, 26 years old having a freaking crazy nightmare like that. So uh, I, had to, I had to dream that one time. Then I had the same dream again. And the same thing happened. I woke up screaming because a nuclear bomb hit. And I had the same dream over, over and over for like a year. And it, it was it was so bad that it was a nightmare and sometimes I didn't even want to go to sleep because I knew I was going to have this dream of a nuclear bomb blowing me up and the whole city. And everybody in the city, they didn't know what the hell was going on. They were looking at it like, oh, look at that. Oh, and pulling out their phones and everything. But I knew something was up. So anyway, I kept having these nightmares. It even got to the point where I didn't want to go to sleep no more. The same dream, the same nightmare of me getting blown up by a nuclear bomb in the, in the city because I was too busy trying trying to be part of the city so one day I had the dream again and I'm like man here we go I know how it's gonna end 
I'm gonna get blown up. I already know how it's going to end. So a voice told me, Reggie, you got to leave the city. And I was like, what? And I'm like, I'm broke. I don't I'm like, I'm supposed to leave the city. I'm broke. I can't go nowhere. It said, Reggie, you have to leave the city. And I said, okay, all right, then I'll leave. And then I woke up and I, and, and, and the nuclear bomb didn't come. But the next night I had the same dream again. And it told me again, Reggie, you got to leave the city. And I said, okay, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. But how I leave? Like, I don't know how to, like, like where I'm supposed to go. And then all of a sudden, this big angel, I'm talking about huge. I can't even, even explain how, how, how big the angel was. But it grabbed me and it took me real far. Like, like, like speed. It took me way, like thousands of miles away up, into, up, up on top of this mountain. And then as I get on top of the mountain, now I seen that 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 uh, that light, that bomb, it exploded, and I saw it from a distance. I saw a big mushroom cloud from a distance. Uh, so, and I never had that dream ever since. Once I agreed to leave, once I agreed to leave the major cities because they're going to be destroyed, I stopped having nightmares, especially of that. I stopped having them, and now. All praise to the Most High. And in my opinion, I believe I'm here on this mountain that the angel sent me to. This is the mountain that the Most High sent me to to get away from the destruction that's about to happen down in those cities. And the people who who think I'm full of it, that's fine. That's fine. And I understand it too. I understand. That was a one point in time when I was just wouldn't believe in nothing. But now everything's here. Look at the look at the UN. They revealed to you the beast of revelation. They revealed to you the mark of the beast. They re, they're telling you every single thing. If you don't believe in the Bible now, you are a fool. You're a fool. And you're gonna perish. A perish. It's not gonna be a good death for you. You're gonna perish. People don't want to know the truth anymore. It's sad. No one wants to know the truth. You know, I got all these family members, Catholics, Christians, Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't want to hear nothing I got to say. Nothing. Mainly because it's coming from me. They don't want to hear nothing. And it's amazing to me. It's amazing that nobody wants to hear the truth. Like, even if you may think the truth is wrong or something that I'm wrong, okay, then let's sit down and, 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 and dissect it and research it and find out if it's true or not. Nope, they don't even want to do that. So that's a scripture. That's 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 10 through 12. For all deceivable, deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because you received not the love of the truth and had pleasure in unrighteousness, the Most High is going to send you a strong delusion so that you may believe in a lie so that you could be damned. You see? No one wants to believe in the truth. So because of that, because of you don't want to believe in nothing nobody say, and everything is a, a conspiracy theory, you at least should research it, man. At least. At least that. Because you don't want to believe in that, God's going to kill you. That's just what it is. He's going to kill you in a crazy way. He's going to make you believe in a lie. And that lie is going to damn you. So... All right, I'll praise to the Most High. There was something else I was gonna say, uh, but uh, the crime wave right now. I'm gonna get my tea. The crime wave right now is stupid. It's stupid. You got people. Uh, you got people out here killing, and robbing these rappers, dying like left and right. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Everybody getting whacked. Everybody starving. In the midst of all that, everybody still want to have a good time. Nobody wants to, uh, 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 you know, save food and see what's really happening. Go retreat somewhere until the smoke clears. Nobody wants to really know the truth anymore. So because of that reason, a lot of you are going to be deceived. 
deceived. Now, you know, back when I was younger, I don't even want to say that long ago. I'm 43 now, but back when I was like 30, 30, 36 or 37, I had a lot of friends. We used to party, drink, smoke. A lot of my friends used to all cheat on their wives. <laughs> And they used to get mad at me for not doing it too. <laughs> they used to tell me, you gotta cheat on your wife like us, man. Cause you might snitch. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I used to have a lot of friends in wickedness though. Turns out a lot of those, those, those people wasn't even really my friends. We just had wickedness in common. Some friends I used to have cause I used to smoke weed. Some friends I used to have because I used to drink. Some friends I used to, I used to have because I used to watch boxing and sports. But they were never really my friends. Because once I start trying to be righteous, pew, they all left me. So they'll be your friends when you're wicked and unrighteous. But when you try to be righteous and follow the Most High's laws and commandments, pure room, that's when they all leave you and they start and they start calling you crazy. They start calling you crazy because you want to be righteous. You don't want to lie. You don't want to cheat. You don't want to be a whoremonger. You don't want to be a fornicator. You don't want to be a drunk. You don't want to be a reveler. You don't want to be none of those things. And all your friends will leave you. And then they start talking about you and call you crazy. Yeah. that part so anyway if you guys are down in the major cities I'm gonna tell you again get out get out or else you're gonna pay you're gonna pay severely for what the wrath is coming now the most high is protecting some people down there in the cities I know a few of them uh, they're invincible they're invincible people nothing nothing comes their way not even a nail hit them. People don't even know they exist. A lot of them are homeless people. A lot of people who are really righteous people or chosen people are, are, are homeless too. And most of not gonna let nothing happen to them. So it is possible for you to be in those cities and you'll be still protected. It's possible. But I wouldn't take that chance. I wouldn't take it. So. All right, all praises to the Most High. I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope you see how, how dire of a situation that we're in right now. These devils, they're evil, man. They're evil. So if you still want to be under them and listen to everything Dr. Fauci says and, and uh, Bill Gates and uh, the evil, wicked serpent Joe Biden, then that's on you. All right? All praise to the Most High. I pray that the Most High keeps you guys. I pray that He delivers you from wickedness to the people who really want to be righteous. I pray that the Most High protects you and He keeps you away from all the wickedness and all these wicked people and heathens and devils that are out there robbing and killing and stealing and trying to take whatever it is you have. I pray that the Most High keeps you from that. All right? All praise to the Most High. Shalom.